All right, news coming in. The sensational footage of the twin Pune blast earlier this month has now been released. The bomb was placed in a bike outside the police station on the 10th of July. And uh, these were the visuals that you can see on your television screens. Uh, there uh, you see the first blast which took place. And these uh, CCTV images have in fact been released by the, Mumbai, by the Pune police uh, recorded on the 10th 7th of 2014. Well, this blast took place outside the Pune police station. My colleague Gaurav Savant is standing by. He's going to be talking us through the visuals and uh, the CCTV images, uh, spine-chilling CCTV images which have been released as of now. You can see how the bomb went off. People completely unawares. I'd like to go across to Gaurav Savant who's going to talk us through these visuals that have been released. It's over to you, Gaurav. Thank you, Preeti. The Dagrushet Halwai Temple in Pune, this is where the blast took place. This, this is the motorcycle stand and this is where the blast took place. Now, this is standard Indian Mujahideen tactics. Uh, this was a blast that had shaken the police. Now, a police vehicle, uh, a motorcycle was stolen. There were two men who were seen on CCTV images who, were, who had brought that bike. So, were they the handlers, were they the planters or were they only the people who had stolen the motorcycle and passed it on? What makes this extremely sinister is the fact that this was right next to a temple, right next to a police station. What security forces are telling us that the Indian Mujahideen had talked about targeting uh, a temple, they had talked about targeting a police station. That was something that was very clear. Uh, Katil Siddiqui, who had been arrested, had talked about targeting a temple. They also said that phone conversations, police sources telling headlines today, phone conversations had been intercepted that seemed to indicate that the lashkar e taiba had directed the local module of the Indian Mujahideen to target the police, to target a police station. Now, some people have been identified. Police sources say arrests are likely soon. Because we have Pankaj Khelkar, who's in fact uh, talking to his sources very closely. And uh, the people that you're talking about who have in fact been identified, who could be behind this particular attack, uh, Pankaj has some more information on that. Pankaj, it's over to you. The city in Pune, the ATS, the Maharashtra ATS are investigating this thing. Apart from Maharashtra ATS, other uh, national agencies are also investigating. But the latest information as per the process from the ATS is that the two handlers who were seen in the CCTV footage had come from Swatara and they had taken the Tinagar route to come towards Pune. Now other teams, ATS teams, the NHC teams have also gone towards Kolapur because some of the information like the two persons who are seen in the CCTV footage have also been spotted in Kolapur. So the police are, uh, the investigation teams are trying to verify and trying to find the sources and meet if the two persons who were spotted in Kolhapur as well might have some more uh, like relevation from where okay. they can find uh, like exactly who they, these two are and whether they can like reach, uh, can get more clues for the arrest. All right, Pankaj Khelkar and Gaurav Savan, gentlemen, thank you for joining us and uh, giving us the very latest on these spine-chilling images that have been released by the Maharashtra ATS.